What's up, everybody? It's Azazel, and yes, it's Tuesday, and by now, I'm sure you all know that that means it's time for Ticked Off Tuesday, and this week, I'm going to approach a topic that can be viewed as serious, but I'm not going to take it really seriously. I'm just going to kind of explain how it's not always what it seems. I'm sure you've all heard the phrase at some point that uh, any press is good press, or even bad press is good press, you know, something along those lines, very similar to that. I've heard it. I hear it quite a bit. You know, uh, you hear it anytime there's any sort of drama on YouTube. You know, stop it. You're giving this guy, you know, more publicity. And, you know, in a lot of cases and in a lot of contexts, that may be the truth. That may very well work out in the favor of the person that you're talking shit about. But it's not always the case. And in a lot of very large cases, bad press can actually ruin people. Take, for example... Uh, politicians, lawmakers, governors, senators, congressmen, things like that. This has happened many times. And here's the thing is like, why does it keep happening to these people? They keep getting caught, these politicians, these, these middle-aged or later white guys that make these anti-gay hate laws, you know, or they're trying to get these anti-gay hate laws made. And they get caught trying to have sex or caught in the act of having sex with another man. It happens a lot. It really does. Now that press, whenever it comes out, that does not help that person get elected. Now you could say, oh, well, it's because he went from, you know, not gay to gay, and it's because he's gay, not because of the press. Really? But it's still because of the press, because had no one known, he would have continued to get elected, or his laws would have continued to be made. So there you go. There are some pretty good examples of... Uh, that's a pretty good big example, actually, of how bad press is not good press. And also, let's let's use another one. Let's go back. Everyone can kind of relate to this. Even if you're, you know, a younger person, you you will at least understand a little bit of this because no one has, you know, not fucking heard of Michael Jackson and the shit that Michael Jackson supposedly pulled. So years and years back, Michael Jackson, whose career was already kind of, you know, he I guess he was just kind of done with it, you know. Uh, he... He was supposedly allegedly involved in inappropriate sexual relationships with little boys. This isn't good. And you know what? After those allegations, because it looked like the evidence supported it, uh, even though it was never 100% proven, but his career after that was nothing. He was seen as nothing more than just this oddball, this oddity, this circus freak from that point on. That's all people viewed him as. He was no longer a musician. He was Michael Jackson, the creepy kitty fucker with the Ferris wheel in his fucking yard and the petting zoo in the backyard. That's what happened because at that point on, he became, you know, a laughing stock and a pathetic excuse of what he used to be. So no, ladies and gentlemen, bad press is not always good press. And in fact, I think it's a dead phrase. I think we need to get rid of it in the internet. Okay. On the internet, YouTube and everything and otherwise, there's too much press for it all to be good press. Some of it may be but it's not always going to be. So quit fucking saying it because it's not always the truth. And it's a cliche statement. All right. You guys take it easy. I appreciate your thoughts down below in the comments. Of course, I'll see you guys soon. It's been a Zazel.